Hi, I am Chegu Selva. Welcome to the series PMR Mathematics Made Super Easy. Okay, in this segment, we will be discussing the first topic in Form 3. When you open your Form 3 book, the first topic is lines and angles 2. Okay? Now, before you can answer PMR questions, based on this topic, you need to know some basics. Okay? When you open the book, if you look at the notes in most books, you will see these three diagrams. Okay? But these three are not enough. Okay? To answer PMR questions. Let's see. These two lines are parallel. What's the meaning of parallel lines? Parallel lines means lines which do not meet. Forever, they will not meet. Those lines are known as parallel lines. Other lines will meet. Parallel lines will never meet. Forever, will never meet. Okay. Now, these two are parallel lines. This line, cutting across the pair of parallel lines, is known as the transversal transversal so you have here parallel lines transversal parallel lines transversal okay now this angle and this angle are equal if this is 20 this is 20 and so on so these are known as corresponding angles corresponding angles okay now look at the second diagram these two angles are known as alternate angles alternate angles okay these two angles are alternate angles these two are equal these two are also equal alternate angles okay now look at the third diagram now these two are parallel lines this is the transversal these two angles when you add them up you always get 180 degrees always 180 degrees these two angles are known as co-interior angles. Co-interior angles. Okay. Like I said, this is what you see in the books. But it is not enough. If you want to attack PMR questions effectively and fast, you need to know extra knowledge. You need to have extra knowledge. Okay, for example, like this. You see, you need to know if the angle is less than 90 degrees, it is an acute angle. If an angle is 90 degrees, it is known as a right angle. This line is perpendicular to this line. These two lines are perpendicular because the angle between them is 90 degrees and this angle is called the right angle now if the angle is more than 90 degrees you call it an obtuse angle okay now if an angle is more than 180 degrees you call it a reflex angle reflex angle if an angle is exactly 180 degrees it is it represents a straight line and if an angle 
covers one round like this then it is 360 degrees one circle is 360 degrees okay now what other additional information do we need here now if a triangle has got three sides which are not equal three unequal sides you call it a scaling triangle if we have a triangle where two sides are equal you call it the isosceles triangle and the base angles of an isosceles triangle are always equal now this triangle when all the three sides are equal you call it the equilateral triangle in an equilateral triangle the three angles are 60 60 60 all equal now the sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees very very important you keep it here right now we come to another theorem here now this is very very important not just only in pmr but also in spm very important very commonly used okay now if this angle is a this angle is b this angle is not c if this is a this is b this angle is a plus b a plus b that is if this angle is 20 this angle is 30 20 degrees 30 degrees this is 20 plus 30 50 degrees and so on okay now if you apply all this you should be able to handle PMR questions on this topic just like that. Hi, I'm Chegu Selva. Welcome to the topic of lines and angles PMR paper one. Now lines and angles is the first topic in form three. Before we start doing any sums on this topic, we must be familiar with all the types of angles and angle theorems. Okay. Here, I, I have for you a clone question based on the year 2009. Okay. You are given that KM is equal to KQ. KM equals to KQ. That means it is an isosceles triangle. So if the triangle is isosceles, this angle equals to this angle. Base angles are equal. Okay. We are supposed to find the value of M. Okay. We go step by step. These two lines, PL and QM, are parallel. And if they are parallel, angle P here, LPM, 25 degrees, is equal to this angle, 25 degrees. P, M, Q, alternate angles, because these two lines are parallel. And like I said earlier, KM is equal to KQ, therefore, these two angles are equal, okay? Right, now, now we use the next theorem, next angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles. That means these two angles add up equals to 140. So angle KQM, angle KQM is equal to 140 divided by 2, 70 degrees. KQM is 70 degrees. And these two angles are equal because base angles. Therefore, M plus 25 is equal to 70. M is equal to 70 minus 25 equal to 45. This is your answer 
for the value of m simple isn't it thank you Here, I have for you a clone question based on the year 2010. Now, in this diagram, you are given these two lines are parallel. And KLM is a straight line. And you are asked to find the value of P. Let's see how this is done. Like I said, you, are, you must be well versed with all the angles and angle theorems. Okay. Now, if this is a straight line, KLM, and this is 120 degrees, therefore, this angle is 60 degrees. Okay? I just move this L here a bit. Okay. 60 degrees. This angle is 60. 180 minus 120 is 60. This angle is 130. One straight line, 180. Therefore, if this is 130, this is 50 degrees. 180 minus 130, you get 50. Now, these two lines are parallel. Therefore, this angle and this angle are co-interior and co-interior angles the sum of the co-interior angles is 180 degrees therefore p see 50 plus 60 110 one, p plus 110 one, is equal to 180 degrees Therefore, P is equal to 180 minus 110. The answer is 70. The value for P is 70. Okay? I hope you get that. It is very, very straightforward. Thank you.